Oh, good morning. Did you see you there? Oh, my um, my bicycle hat. Oh, hat. Got myself a bike. This is there. It is just bought part of it in. Got to pump a bit more air into it. Um, this is not my. You can see it's my wheel. The rest of my bike's outside. Uh, what I normally do is I take the wheels off, and uh, when I go to a location, put the frame of the bike inside the back of the car, and the wheels on top of it, so I've got a bit more more space to put that in. So. Once I get to a location, I can take it out, assemble it, and just um, do my little uh, bike ride. My friend gave me this bike, Mark, it's, uh, and um, it took me about two two weeks to restore because I've been sitting for about two years. So, um, to be honest with you, most of it was okay, and all I do is just pump the tires up, uh, and that's it, and just give it a bit of a spray job. And um, it was a pink colour, the actual paint work. So, um, so it wasn't my style, so I painted it blue. So um, you will see it, probably see it in the video that's coming up next. And um, yeah, my my this video is of uh, North Washington Dillon Canal, and um, go back there every year. This will be the first time, for about a couple of years, not been there for two years, and also to see my friend uh, Chris, who just just down the road from Ebridge Mill, about a couple of minutes or so, and um, I'm back in this location in the next couple of weeks. My friend was said he's going to give me a little tour of the area, so um, so that's something for me to look forward to. Um, yeah, Ebridge, um, Ebridge Mill, that's slot gate number three there. Um, the interest for me of that, because I've been working quite hard at the uh, North Forest and Canal Trust to get this stretch open um, for a few years now, and uh, that stretch of water from Ebridge Mill, um, canal from Ebridge Mill to back to Wood Mill, it's virtually open like you know so that part of the canal um, that's where they've done the most work at the moment and um, also at back to Mudmill back in 1912 when we had the great floods seven and a half inches of, of water fell in that day and uh, or seven and a half inches of rain fell in that day causing the banks to burst its banks and uh, you see in the video I didn't mention it in there in the video sometimes on the videos you, you, you know, if you see my videos, I always repeat myself time and time again, and um, that's no harm in that. You know, that's my that's something I do to be honest with you. Anyway, it's no harm done there. Um, enjoy the bike ride. I can't think of anything else to say, but like I said, I'm in this location in the next couple of weeks. I'd like to visit uh, North, um, North Washington Town, town Centre, um, to uh, take a look at a number of things around there, especially St. Nicholas Church up there. Um, a lot of history, a lot of steep in history in North Bolsham, and uh, I'll tell you more about that, about that later. And um, once I've done that video, and also, like I said, my friend is going to do me a guided tour around the area, so that's coming up and all. Uh, it's a lot of the things I want to do around this, this area and all. Uh, finish off a video which I started about oh, about a month ago, and um, so uh, I've got to finish that off. I've got my bike now, I can gain more mileage, so that, that's all to come. Um, Probably go further afield there um, soon. You know, I'm just finding time at the moment because five days a week uh, I work. You know, so I don't get much time. Time to get home. Um, time. Uh, only time I can do work on my house or anything else is that weekend. So sometimes I don't make videos because I'm I'm doing stuff like that. Um, now I've got my bike. I've been working that a couple of weeks. So yeah, not much more to say really. Um, but to say thank you for watching my videos and. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and um, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Bye for now. Now this bridge, you got Munsley in that direction there. Just up there, you got the B1140, 45 I believe. I've been there since the 1970s. You got the uh, old railway bridge situated there, the 361. They certainly know how to build bridges back in the day, don't they? Look at these all their industrial bricks. So that's made to last. Got my bike just there. 
I'm gonna make my way right down down there. I'm gonna pop and see my mate Chris, who just lived near Ebridge Mill, and that's I don't know about maybe a couple of miles in that direction. They're the locations. So I'm heading down down this location, try and get my bike down there somehow, but, but anyway, I'll go down, I'll get my bike and uh, make my way down there. Okay, make my way to Ebridge Mill. Morning folks. Hi. How are you? Right, yeah. yeah, good, thank you. Morning. Yeah, good, thank you. Some dog walk, which I think is best to walk along this stretch. And just on your bike when uh, it's safe enough to do so. You can see it's all, all overgrown, and uh, you never know what's around the next corner. So I'm going to push my bike. Push bike. That's what I call it. Push bike. So you got to push it. I suppose if it's so often. And uh, yeah, that, that field there. There's rumours this last time, someone, I think one of the locals told me that the developers were planning to build houses on that, that field there. That was roughly about four or five years ago or something like that. I'm glad to see they haven't. Right. Go down here. Yeah, I was in this location about uh, two years ago, didn't I? I was in this location last year because I said to myself I'd come back every year to just have a look and um, to see how I'd get on with the, uh, the lock gates uh, four, three and four, just near Ebris Mill and back to Mill there. Hey there. Just got walked down here on the North Walsham Dillman Canal. This bridge is as far as uh, 359. It's all closed now though. This I think that's all locked off now, but a few years back you used to be able to walk along this bridge. So uh, not now. Go down here somewhere. It's not easy when you've got a push bike. Oh. Right. I was just down there, it's just the uh, North Orange and Dillman Canal I've gone veer off to my to my right hand side and make my way to uh, back to Mud Mill. It's just in that direction over there. Okay. Direction signs there. Up there you got Swayfield Bridge up in that direction and beyond that you got lock gates five and six and a bit further up from there you got uh, Antonym. But I'm not making my way in that direction, I'm going in this direction. Yeah, just to see how North Wales and the Dillman Canal are progressing. So yeah, I'm back virtually every year. And plus, give me um, an excuse to see my mate. He live near Ebridge Mill. So uh, I can make my way down there. What a lovely day. Fantastic. Morning. <laughs> And a bit further up near Ebridge Mill, back in 1912, I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a little while. Back in 1912, that's when uh, we had the floods and seven inches of rain fell in that day, causing uh, the banks to burst near Ebridge Mill. No, sorry, back to this uh, location. All this such wonderful views and that's why I like coming down here so much and also not only to look at the progressive of North Walsham and Dillon Canal Trust and see how they're getting on with these lock gates and uh, especially uh, uh, three and four, one at Ebridge, there's a lock gate there and one up Ebridge, uh, 
back to mill, back to wood mill, this one just sits right there. Only just a few years back, just recently just been restored. And this Royston Bridge just sits right there. And like I said, that house, look, it used to be a pub. It used to be called the Rary Inn. Well, not no, it's no longer now, it's no longer a pub, it's no, uh, not been in use for a while, I wouldn't have thought, ever since the canal uh, closed. Yeah. Quite a busy road this. Just, now, just over there in that location, just over there, just underneath from trees, you've been our caravan sits right there, like, it's not like they um, tied it all up, you know. Well, this um, lock gate number four, because you've got five and six, just the other side of Swayfield Bridge. And on your left, you got back to Woodmill. So in this location, just to my right hand side, just there, where the canal burst its banks. It was in the year of August of 1912, when more than 70 inches of rain fell in one day. There it is, lock gate number four. But 500,000 bricks have gone into that lock gate. It was just about here where the uh, canal burst its banks in August of 1912. Quite a warm day actually. It's a paddle gear. Back in Woodmill. So yeah. Yeah, so I take a look in that direction. Uh, you've got Anchor Road just sits right outside them buildings. And you go part over the road. Uh, just uh, the bridge sits right there and all. Anchor Road Bridge. Yeah, just sits right heading that direction. Got my bike make my way in that location what these buildings are probably garages I should imagine there's Anchor Road just situated there uh, just got to cross this to get to the other side this will probably be uh, quite a busy road I should imagine Yeah. I've got them docked around. Let's look at this kind. The park is there. Uh, doesn't need to be closed. Uh, now it's spent here. It's a bit of narrow. Look at this, look at this pillbox. Yeah, it's a lot of these docked around uh, the canal. Look at how it is. A lot of 
rubbish in there. Yeah, that's a mic. It's in this location I uh, used my, um, my canoe all the way from the bridge mill. That's all locked up, but I'm able to get inside there. Yeah, all the controls. That's got to be from the 50s, isn't it? Late 50s. The engine being in the back there. Not been used for a while, though. the tracks are a bit rusty. Morning. Morning. <laughs> so there it is, Ebridge Mill. So I'm heading, if you look to your left hand side, that's where uh, lock gate number three is. So we have a look uh, in that direction, see how we're progressing with that. And the uh, other side, Ebridge Mill, you, obviously you've got honing and uh, and you got a bit further up, you got Rafer, Rafer Bridge in that direction too. So uh, yeah, we head in this direction, have a look around the lock gates and look around the area and see. Morning. Just out to my right, I thought of the overflow of North Ocean Dillon Canal. They've done some work on this um, this part of the uh, canal, all new bricks. Can't remember how it was like last time, I think it was all falling apart. He bridged me up there, across the road. See, you've got, still got the original sign on here, keep it in water. Yeah, we'll take a lock in a minute. Morning. Well, I think my bike is safe enough there. I hope. <laughs> Got a gear wheel just there, no longer in use. I want to keep the, uh, the residents away, all that water going underneath the.
but that's still there from last time I uh, was in this location. The weasel, that's a dredger. It's not moved at all. It's still there. Inside there, just there. Wow. Yeah. This is just to operate the, uh, the crane, I should imagine. The hydraulics. I'm not too sure what's done this uh, stretch there. No, been this far before. Let's have a look anyway. You can see the extent how big this place was. You see it dip, not this building here, but you look at that building next door to it. You see it, the roof dip a bit, you can see it. 